Hey, what's up guys? It's Emmy from the ET Reviews here, and today I've got a quick review of the Elm 327 OBDI Arena. Now this is the Wi-Fi version, it's compatible with Android and iOS. If you do get the Bluetooth version, then this won't work with iPhones, uh, only the Wi-Fi version will work. So here's the actual product itself, it's a normal OBDI Arena. Uh, you can see, basically, we'll just head out to the car. Now we want to look for our port, it's usually under the driver's steering wheel. And then here's the, my port in my Hyundai Coupe. So we'll place the product in. Now once we put it in, make sure it's in the right way. Uh, you'll see a red light come on. Now for the red light to come on, it'll show that the product is working. Your car doesn't have to be on for that light to come on. So once we're done, we'll head over to our phone. Now you'll see the Wi-Fi section. We'll see Wi-Fi OBD II. So we want to connect to that to allow the product to connect to the phone. We'll head over to the Dash Command app. Uh, this is available in the App Store. It's not a free app, but it is recommended with this product itself. So what we want to wait for it to connect. At the bottom, you'll see it's gone green. Uh, we can click it to make it connect as well. So we'll head over to the dashboard section. Now here we can see things like our rev counter. You'll see it going up when I do rev my car. Uh, there's also the miles per hour, so the speed, things like that. So the diagnostic section, it can read your codes. If you have any engine management lights or faults, things like that, It'll read it and you can also clear the codes after. Uh, it can also monitor things like your EGR valve and things like that. Now it's not true for every car, things like Mercedes and things like that. They do have more complicated systems. So this won't be able to read uh, them specialized systems. But in my car, the Hyundai Coupe, uh, it's not very technical so it'll read uh, all the systems there. So here we also have the data logging. You see that in things like the Skyline GTR. Um, we'll go back to the uh, section so uh, here we can see our fuel economy the average fuel economy instant fuel economy fuel flow uh, we can also see this uh, another section basically now this is uh, data taken from me driving for about an hour so obviously the more you drive the more accurate the results are we can also see our coolant temperature our intake things like that uh, we can set our gear ratios but you do have to set that yourself we'll head back to the main menu now You'll see there's a racetrack section now. This did intrigue me. I didn't know how it worked, but I'm sure uh, many of you guys might know yourself. I haven't been to a racetrack myself, so I don't think it'll work for me. Uh, settings will go. So to make sure that this product works with your phone, you do have to set the interface. Uh, so here I'll uh, choose the Elm port. Now if you don't do that, then it won't connect to the actual product itself. There's things like the AUX input type, uh, it's not going to work on my car, but some cars it might do itself. It can read all that. So here is just the setting section. Make sure uh, you've got everything correct, basically. So there we go, guys. That's the Dash Command app with the Elm 327, the Wi-Fi edition. It does connect to iPhones. So if you do like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do have any comments, please comment below.